Just reading about what's happening with LeMahieu, you get the sense that maybe it's getting a little closer to the finish line, Jack, hearing that he's talked to the Dodgers, the Blue Jays are very interested. Perhaps the Mets jump in, we don't know yet, but then he also knows the Yankees are willing to take that last phone call, too. Yeah, I think the Yankees have known all along with the DJ LeMahieu negotiations that there are going to be other interested teams. I think they're confident in the parameters of a deal that they have laid out for LeMahieu. They can't control what other organizations do. The Dodgers are an interesting team to me. I don't, wouldn't fear the Blue Jays as much if I were the Yankees, uh, but the Dodgers swooping in, a team that won a World Series, a team that isn't sure whether or not it's going to bring Justin Turner back, LeMayu could be an option for them. I actually think with the Lindor addition, I, the Mets are out on LeMayu. I don't see the Mets as someone who could compete with the Yankees for LeMayu. I've said this for however many shows in a row that we've had. <laughs> I still think he ends up as a Yankee. I think we're looking in the four-year range with an option. Yeah, I 100% agree with you, but I think about it from DJ's standpoint as he's having conversations with his agent. And with this Lindor trade, I think both of those people, the agent and the player, are saying, okay, things are going to start happening now. A team that Jack was talking about, maybe like the Dodgers, maybe this Lindor trade forces them to say, we're going to go the extra mile in order to bring DJ in. If they do that, the Yankees have to react. If they, they don't get the deal done, they're going to have to pivot. But it definitely feels like maybe this trade is going to get things moving.